Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm your host, Jonathan Asley of jonathanasley.com, and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. We're going to talk about men. Are men really intimidated by women? Okay, before we get started, uh, a lot of you keep asking me this. So really quickly, I always change the pictures here. <laughs> They're mostly of my boys and myself. Um, that happens to be my son, Connor, who passed away in the center. And that happens to be his mom below there. Um, but anyway, so I just wanted to share that with you all because I know you ask uh, several times. I've been asked about it. Okay, we're going to talk about are men really intimidated by strong, confident woman, women? So I hear this all the time. I hear so many women come to me saying that men are intimidated by my strength. They're scared away by my strength and, and my confidence and my, you know, my ambitious lifestyle. And they're just intimidated by me. I'm here to say that no man's penis shriveled because a woman was small, strong, smart, strong, successful. Okay. No high quality man's penis shriveled because a woman was smart, strong, and successful. Strong, smart, and successful, smart, strong, and successful, whatever it is, okay? That's oftentimes a rationalization that happens when a relationship ends. Now, I'm gonna to get to that rationalization in a moment because I, I know that's probably triggered a few of you. So let me tell you really quickly about a, a story of a couple women I've dated. I remember, um, in the beginning of my journey after my divorce, I went out with a very smart, strong, successful, gorgeous woman. I mean, she made a million dollars a year professionally. She was a practically a Mensa, you know, incredibly successful, attractive. Um, men were pining after her and she was with me. And um, after about five months of our relationship, I ended it. When I ended it, I heard on Facebook, she said, I was intimidated <laughs> by her. I don't think it was Facebook. I think it was somewhere else I read that. But I heard that from Circle of Friends and others that she said, I couldn't handle her strength. I couldn't handle her confidence. That wasn't why I broke up with her. I broke up with her because there was a controlling factor associated with her. There was kind of a selfish factor associated with her. There wasn't a real care for my needs, wants, and desires. And I don't mean that from a feminine perspective. I meant that from a human perspective. She wasn't the man in the relationship and I was the woman in the relationship and I was intimidated by her. I just wasn't really happy being with someone who cared more about themselves than they did me. That was it. But I got labeled as being, I broke up because I was intimidated by her. And that was the furthest thing from the truth. And I was later in a relationship with an incredibly successful woman who had her own TV show, Drop Dead Gorgeous, worth millions and millions of dollars. But I, our relationship didn't end because my penis shriveled up. In fact, we just realized we weren't aligned with each other. And thankfully, she didn't go walking around saying that Jonathan was intimidated by me. But that's oftentimes the rhetoric. So let me just say this. Any self-respecting man isn't intimidated by a successful woman, a smart, successful woman. Let me just repeat that. Because when we think of intimidation, I'm, think of intimidation this way. I walk into a room with big, burly football players and they look like they're going to kick my ass. I'm intimidated. I'm intimidated. Why? Because I can't protect myself. Or my fear is I can't protect myself. Okay? That's my fear. That's what intimidation is all about. A fear that you can't protect yourself, that you can't live up if there's a, an eminent danger. That's what intimidation does. Not in relationship. When a woman is smart, strong, successful, and I'm great, thankfully there's so many of you out there. Yes, it's great. And some men aren't attracted to those kind of women. Some men maybe don't have the inner confidence. They don't have the inner confidence to be with that kind of woman. But that doesn't mean he's intimidated by it. It's a reflection of himself. It has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with, and I know you've been convinced that it's all this masculine energy that turns off men. No, either A, he doesn't feel good about himself or B, and this is really the bigger issue, and that's the this because of this in this video title. We don't think we're going to be loved by you. We don't think that you, we might feel 
that because you're more successful than us, if these are, by the way, I'm talking about the woman who's more smarter, stronger, and successful than the guy, okay? Usually we don't hear this rhetoric when the guy makes more money and is smarter than the girl. We hear it or from the woman. We hear it the other way around. So let me talk about that guy. You're making a quarter million dollars a year and he makes $50,000 a year. And you say he's intimidated by you. No, this is what he fears. He fears you're not going to love him because he doesn't have as much as you. That's the real fear. It's not intimidation. It's that we aren't going to be loved for who we are. Because men tend to be more visual creatures and women tend to be more status based. Now, by the way, this isn't absolute. This is just general rhetoric. But I'm just saying mostly women are looking for the man with the bigger cave. So if our cave isn't bigger, we're not afraid of you. We're afraid you're not going to love us. Wow. Think about that for a second. Their fear is that you aren't going to love them. Is that intimidation? Is that a fear that you're going to kill them? No. So let's stop this rhetoric of he broke up with me because he was intimidated by me. Because as I said before, that's a rationalization. That's in, for a lot of women, not you, but for all the other women out there that say it, because I know you don't say it. Those women say that to make them feel good about themselves. But it really doesn't make them feel good about themselves because they may not be leaning into maybe that woman was a pain in the ass, like the first one I broke up with. And the second one, it was simply misaligned, but thankfully she didn't use that rhetoric because she knows she's a high value person woman and nobody's intimidated. When you're a smart, strong, successful woman, you don't ever need to assume someone's intimidated by you because you just show up in your sovereignty. You are in such queen energy that you're rocking and rolling and you're fantastic. And you're gonna be around other people who are fantastic as well. And that's my invitation for you because a guy doesn't have to make as much money or be as smart as you to wanna be with you. But you gotta also let him know that you wanna be with him. Because that guy who does make a little bit of less money might have a fear that you're not gonna love him for the less. So just simply express, I care about you. You're an awesome dude. I don't care about the money and the success and everything. I care about who you are. And when your guy feels good that he knows that you're with him because you care about him, you have a greater chance of success. Now, that's not to say that his childhood wounds and traumas might not sabotage the relationship. That certainly can happen. But when you're with a high quality guy, and you've seen my videos about high quality, so check out my other videos wherever they're located to check out about high quality guys. Because that high quality guy is never going to be intimidated by your awesomeness, your amazingness. But we do occasionally fear that you may not love us because we have less. So just simply say, I love you for who you are. And that's what matters most. And if you don't know what I love you means, here, make it really simple. I'm here. You matter. We're important. I've got your back. I'm not going anywhere. And I only want you. And when you say that to a guy in that way, hey, a high quality guy is going to go, yeah, that's my woman. Right on. Okay, I hope this helped out. You might have some questions based on this one, so please post a comment below, ask your questions. I do my best to read everything. Um, as always, if you would like some coaching, some personal help, check out my link below to schedule a discovery call with me to see if coaching is right for you. And if you can't afford coaching, check out my VIP group. It's an amazing group where I interact with everyone on a daily basis through Facebook and videos and webinars and all that good stuff. All right, I'm going to wrap up this video giving myself a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug. I'm actually giving it to you. And I'm going to ask you to do the same right now. Do this right now because we all could use some hugs. All right, we're going to wrap up this video and wishing you a super duper wonderful, fantastic day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye now.